horseshoes in making arrests. There were some mistakes made. But to judge the whole Chicago Police Department by the actions of a few was ridiculous. When there is a confrontation with the police, uh, there is the risk that somebody is going to be injured. When a man charges a police line, and I stood right there, and I was right in the midst of it all, and these men charged the police line, people get hurt. People get hit over the head. Blood is shed. It's unfortunate that blood is shed. We're not used to it in America, despite what uh, the uh, television people tell us about how this is a nation of violence. We're not used to it in America, and it is disturbing. And the Chicago Police Department does not like it. These policemen have been under a lot of pressure. They've been maligned out there, sworn at, spit at, cursed at, box rattled. Things, things were thrown at them that I can't even tell you on TV. And they reacted. They reacted strongly. But they are protecting the citizens of the city of Chicago. And this is our job. And this is our only job. Now, this does not mean that in every instance, every single Chicago police officer uh, used the proper amount of force. Obviously, a man would be a fool to say that in any action there wasn't somebody who swung a club more than he should have swung a club. In the heat of emotion and riot, some pl policemen may have overacted. But to judge the entire police department by the alleged action of a few would be just as unfair as to judge our entire younger generation by the action of this mob. When people come in here and violate the law and think they're going to take away the rights of others, we're going to react. Now, if we overreacted, that's too bad, and that's only in some instances. The newspaper stated specifically that the terrorists would attempt to assault, harass, and taunt the police into reacting before television cameras. Frank, in your opinion, with the situation in front of the Hilton, it would be easier to handle if all the lights of the television tape trucks were not on. I don't, I don't think that... Uh, you, you don't think that that did anything to... Uh, it's obvious that they wanted to be on, these, uh, the mob wanted to be on, on television, but uh, I, I think that they would have uh, performed their attack even if television wasn't there. Frank, uh, what was the philosophy of letting the uh, group, after it had been dispersed by the uh, police department and the National Guard, why did you allow them to regroup in front of Hilton and cause all this trouble last night? The police department was very anxious to clear the streets. I, I think, uh, what time of the day are Earlier you referring the, to? There was only about 100 people at Balboa in Michigan, say around 7 o'clock, but at 8 oh, or 8.30, they, they're all they, back there. They again. filtered over into the Michigan Avenue area by uh, various uh, bridges, basically, to the north. They came across in small groups over into the Michigan area avenue and then marched south. That was how they but got there over. there was an agreement to allow them to congregate illegally so they wouldn't go on to the amphitheater, wasn't there? Oh, no, right? there was no agreement so they congregate illegally. They could congregate on the, the sidewalk on the west side of, of on the parkway there, on the west side of, uh, of Grant Park, uh, pardon me, of the Conrad Hilton Hotel. They were asked... Uh, they were there after 11 o'clock, too, which is illegal. Uh, I, I don't think uh, that's... Uh, in other Correct. words, so, so in fact, and they will not charge at the guard. Will they uh, I don't. I don't know. But uh, there's timing. For example, when the delegates come back last night from the International Amphitheater, uh, this group does not charge the police. The delegates have already seen over national television uh, these uh, various uh, scenes, and uh, they come back. Many of them with their minds filled with preconceived notions and think that they know exactly what happened. And then, when they look out the window of the hotel, they see this group, and they're not charging any policemen, and uh, they begin to wonder uh, what it was all about early in the evening. Right. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I don't know Gentlemen, the laws of the city of Chicago are going to be upheld. The people all over America sitting in rooms, watching this, listening to this, know that someday, unless somebody holds the line somewhere, that these mobs are going to roam through their streets. They're going to come into their towns. And uh, they will want their police departments to stand firm and take the same action that the Chicago Police Department took yesterday.